This is my Vauxhall Astra that I bought for £150. And the main reason it was so cheap is because this car was far from roadworthy when I actually bought it. And that's because when I bought this car, it had a suspected blown head gasket. Which luckily for me, only turned out to be a little bit of condensation from this engine only doing short journeys. But one thing it did really desperately need is a timing chain. So with zero knowledge of how to actually change a timing chain, I decided to buy the kit myself and give it a go on my own. And luckily, with a little bit of help from Danny and Ewan, I managed to get it done. Then it just left me with the horrible job of changing the exhaust manifold gasket. And when I say this job took ages, it probably took about five hours just to get one bolt out. But again, we managed to get it done. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's not doing it. Not only that, we also had a horrible electric fault with the ABS pump. And once again, we got the tools out, got the ABS pump off and took it to see the guys at ECU testing. They took it apart, diagnosed the problem, sorted it all out, put it back together and the ABS problem was fully solved. Then we needed a rear axle bush because the one that was in the car was absolutely knackered. And last but not least, we had an engine light on the dashboard, but luckily that was only an O2 sensor. So that was a really easy replacement. And after we got all them things sorted and solved, it was time to actually move on to modifying and making this car somewhat different. So with trusty old eBay and Facebook Marketplace, I started modifying this car. I managed to pick up some wind deflectors from eBay, and then I found a Corsa VXR steering wheel on Facebook Marketplace, which we bought, installed, and I've got to say, looks pretty good. I then ordered some dynamic indicators from eBay, installed them, which again, looks pretty decent. And then of course, it wouldn't be a 1.4 Vauxhall Astra without a performance air filter. And as fun as doing all them little quirky mods might be, I think it's time we actually change how this car looks. And apart from a good wash and a few battle scars, I think there's one main thing that's really letting this car down. And to me, that is these alloys. Ignore that caliper, by the way. I'm going to do the other one. We'll figure that out another day. But to me, the alloys are really, really letting this car down. They've got these horrible chunky tyres on. These are 205, 55, and these alloys are 16 inch. They've clearly been rattle canned at some point in their life and whoever's done it hasn't done the best job, let's say. And they're just really ugly looking wheels. So me being me, I've done what I do best. So I jumped straight back on Facebook Marketplace and I think this time I've actually found the perfect alloys for this car. And that is how I found these. <laughs> These are actually TSW alloys, and I have never owned a pair of, well, a set of TSW alloys until that Vauxhall Corsa that we took to Yanomai's. They were TSW, I got offered them from a subscriber, and funny enough, the ones that I find on Facebook Marketplace end up being the same brand TSW. Now, don't get me wrong, they aren't in the best of condition, but they cost me only 140 pounds. Now, I know the car only cost me 150, but Oh well, we're rolling with it. These, I think, are gonna look amazing. Hopefully, they actually fit. They come off a Vauxhall Vectra. These tire sizes are 235, 40, 18. These are actually 18 inch alloys. So I think we should put them on, give them a clean, and then, well, see what they actually look like. Okay, this is the moment of truth. Will they actually fit? Oh my God, they actually do. I weren't expecting them to fit. I thought they were gonna be a different center bore size, but they do actually fit. Okay, <laughs> let's actually drop it and see how they fit. I thought, these would be like kind of way too wide for the car, but I don't, I might need two hands. Here we go. Oh my God. 
they are actually kind of perfect. <laughs> I mean, we're gonna have to clean them up quickly uh, once we've got all four on, but they are actually quite cool. All right, let me, uh, let me get all this side installed. Let me get the backs on. And uh, I guess all that's left to do is see how they look. I'm hoping they don't rub on the back, but it's a 150 pound car, so I don't really care if they do. So let's just find out. I think, I think we might. Oh my God, that dropped a lot. But, no, I think we are all right, boys and girls. I think that is gonna be absolutely fine. I don't think we're gonna have any issues with clearance and they look 100 times better than the other tires. In fact, oh my God, I'm well happy with them. <laughs> Okay, let me get the other side on and then what we'll do is we'll go take the car for a wash, wash all the alloys and we'll take it somewhere and actually see what it looks like all on the car because these actually look better than I thought they would to be fair. So let me get the other side on and we'll carry on. So while I'm getting the other side on, I just want to ask you guys a massive, massive favor. Over 50% of you that are watching these videos aren't actually subscribed to the channel and I'm trying to do my best to hit 100,000 subscribers before the end of the year. So if you could just go down below, hit that subscribe button, it's completely free of charge. It helped me out massively. Okay. The wheels are on. I'm actually quite happy with how they fit. Let's go take it to uh, just my local car wash. Give the car a good wash, give the wheels a good wash, and hopefully these things look good. Well, they don't look too bad. Well, they scrubbed up pretty well and I'd be lying if I told you that I didn't think these looked absolutely amazing on this car. Let me show you. For 140 pounds, a little bit of TLC with a scrub up and a quick wash, I think they look absolutely <laughs> amazing. I, I couldn't even tell you what alloys exactly these are. Maybe someone does know in the comments below. We do need to give them a bit better of a scrub, but yeah, maybe someone can tell us what alloys these actually are in the comments below. But all that I know is 18s on one of these Astra H's, I think is the way to go. And in all honesty, even though I've not been able to actually give them a proper detail, just by taking them to the car wash, they have actually come out really, really well. I'm not even gonna bother getting these refurbed. I think all that's left to do with this car is lower it. But there's one thing that I've been meaning to do since I got this car that has been bugging me for ages. And that is to do with these wing mirrors. Now, for some reason, I'm guessing someone has bought the complete incorrect kind of mirror because Hi, yeah, because, um, yeah, as you can see, it just doesn't fit whatsoever. This is way too small for this wing mirror. So I think what we need to do, I mean, the other side it is the exact same situation on the other side, but in this case, there's like a kind of like a false panel behind it. I don't really know what has gone on. All I do know is I need to order the correct size and get them fitted. So let's carry on with this video. Okay, now luckily for me, I've managed to find two mirror glasses for this car. But something I have noticed, it's raining, so we're on the GoPro, is this left-hand side mirror doesn't actually have a backing plate. Let me show you what I mean. I don't know if you can see on this one, but there's like a backing plate that this mirror actually sticks to. Uh, and long story short, well, I don't think these mirror glasses come with that backing plate. So, um, let me take this off and I'll actually see if there's anything we can actually do because if not, then I may have to nip to the scrapyard. Okay, so this mirror glass, I'm hoping 
one of these is for the left and one of these is for the right but we have two brand new mirror glasses let me just find out okay this one does indeed fit on that backing plate so that is good to go i'm okay to now take this glass off i hope i don't know why these come as two separate bits why they're not just all part of one mirror glass i don't know because that's going to end up snapping so um yeah this might be a bit awkward but i think this one should fit in that gap yes it does so all we need to do is fly to the scrapyard and see if we can find another one of these backing plates but let me quickly take this off without trying to break it i may have to get the heat gun but let me take this off replace it with that one and then that's that right hand side done and all we have to do is sort this left hand side all right that's that one done no it's not perfectly center i didn't realize how sticky they actually were but it is on and it does actually fit so all we've got to do now is just reattach these two prongs and we should be good to go which way does this go that way right let's get these on now line it all up and push it on boom much better okay now the other side i am gonna have to go to the scrapyard and find one of them back in plates and um yeah kind of go from there i have got a price to buy one of them brand new but where i normally get my parts from says that they only sell the mirror with the backing plate well i've already got the mirror and it's 15 pounds for a little bit of plastic so i'd rather go to the scrapyard and if i can't find it i'm literally just going to stick one mirror to another mirror so let's go to the scrapyard is it just me or does does anyone in the comments just not love a good trip to the scrapyard see what you can find i know i know i do do you no it's too cold I, I love a good scrapyard trip. You never know what you're going to find. Like that old... Oh, it's a Rover. I was going to call it a Civic then. Look at the red seats in that. They're actually all right. Uh, right. That's not got one. And there's not even a wing mirror this side. <laughs> oh, come on. Please tell me. I'm, I've got a feeling... This shape, Sephira, are the same size mirrors as the Astra. Oh, George, I might have found one. Wait, that's so weird, because this one's got the same problem as mine, where it's like a diff complete different size. I think I found one. There's one here, but I, I, need to, I need to see if it's the same size. Let's keep looking. But that, that might actually work. It's the right year as well, 2009. So I might have found one. Let's just carry on. Let me just double check that there's not an actual Astra here so we know it's right. But the guys here are pretty sound. So I'm assuming that if I just said to them, look, can I just marry this up against mine? They'd probably be okay with it. But we'll, uh, we'll carry on looking just in case. There's another one here. Actually, that's the shape before mine. But yeah, we'll carry on looking. And uh, if not, I think I might try and get that off and see if it'll fit. Is that how rusty that get? Yeah, that's how bad they can get. I mean, look at all the suspension. I think I need to tighten this thing with Jack. Right, I'm going to get this one. Jack, I'll laugh if you break it. This one's heated, mine ain't. I don't know if that makes a difference, but all I actually need is just this backing plate. And I'm not sure if it's the same size, but I guess we'll go find out. Are we ready for the moment of truth? What do you think? Uh, don't worry about the plate delete either. I've lost it, it's gone. So I come that. Wait, I think. Oh, Jesus.
Hold on. That's the old one, which doesn't fit. Oh, no, it doesn't fit. <laughs> no! It's just a little bit of a different shape. No! <laughs> Oh, it was close as well. No. Okay, there's no look at the scrapyard, so I am literally, because I've already bought it, I'm just gonna stick this on there and kind of hope for the best. So let me go find something to clean this up with and I'm literally, just like that, plop, gonna stick it on and, well, it's better than it looking kind of like that. So, yeah, <laughs> let me find something to wash it with. <laughs> and that ladies and gentlemen is how you save yourself 15 pound in buying a backing plate you can literally just stick that mirror to the other mirror right job well done i then did the exact same thing that i do every single day and that is scroll again on facebook marketplace but this time i think i found something that is going to be absolutely perfect for my astra i didn't realize before but this part is what has been missing the whole time i think I've found something that is gonna make a huge difference to how the Astra actually looks. And um, I'm pretty sure this should fit my car. I don't see why they wouldn't, but they are actually Astra VXR side skirts. So I think they're only in Birmingham. I think we should head there now and go collect them because I think they're gonna look amazing. Unfortunately, they're not in the right color, but I have got a plan of how we can paint them the right colour for cheap. So, let's head to Birmingham and let's go see, yeah, well, see if these things fit first of all. Well, uh, safe to say, we've had a successful trip. I can't change gear, <laughs> but that's not the point. We've had a successful trip and we've acquired the side skirts. Let's get back to the driveway. I think I'm gonna paint these myself and then we can get them installed. Okay, so ignore the driveway for now. It is gonna actually end up looking really good when the builders have finished rendering this wall. It's gonna look twice as good. We've got Millie out here. We've got George's car that I can't show you the sides. In fact, I can. Look how good George's wheels look. Yeah, sick. Check out over the on them. Anyway, these are what we are working with. These are actually genuine Astra VXR side skirt extensions. Now, these normally come on the SRIs, but the 1.4 SRIs, they don't come on. So I don't really know why, but I think these are gonna look absolutely amazing. The only thing we need to do is go get some paint and hopefully the paste where I need to get the paint from can actually do the paint code of the Astra. But I think these are gonna look sick. I think we should just quickly see if they actually fit. If they do, happy days, we'll go get some paint. If they don't, I don't know. Let's see if they fit. So I quickly put them up against the car and can confirm that they will actually fit. And to be fair, I don't know why these don't come on all Astras. They make a massive difference. Okay, now obviously we're gonna have to paint them at least somewhere near the same color as the car. Now I could take them and get them professionally done, but I think I've got a plan in mind for doing it ourselves. So I'm gonna head to a Motor Factors uh, and they actually do like, rattle cans but to your paint code so it doesn't matter what car you've got they should be able to make up your paint code and put it in a rattle can so we're going to head there um i need the paint code for the astra actually head there and hopefully they can put it in a rattle can and we can come back and spray it ourselves and i mean they may not look perfect but they'll be as close as we can kind of get it ourselves so let's head there and let's go get some paint all right, luckily I've just found out that that is the paint code there, the Z168. So hopefully the people uh, that we're going to see now can put that into a can and when we can actually get the side skirt sprayed. So fingers crossed, we'll go have a look and we'll go see if they can do it. All right, this is where we're going. It's called, what is it called? Um, it's called Motor World in Alfreton and uh, I'll try and film as much as I can, but these guys actually do the paint code. So I'm going to go in and hopefully we can get it sorted. So all he has to do is get my paint code on the computer system and it will tell him exactly what colour paint to put in the pot and how much to put in. 
All he has to do is mix all the ingredients together, add them all up, give them a good mix, and it literally makes my exact paint code. He then puts it in the machine, as you can see on the right, compresses it all down so it pressurizes in the can, and that is it. You've got your own paint code in a rattle can. Pretty cool. So I have got, well, I've got my receipt, because uh, tack back. And then we've got the color of the actual, well, of the Astra in this can, and it literally took him like 15 minutes to make it up and that is the exact paint code in a can and then he's given me some plastic primer i think i've got some at home but to save having to come back i've got it in the in the future so we can actually see how well this turns out we've got some plastic primer we've got the astra color a massive thank you this isn't sponsored at all but to uh motor world in alfreton the fella in there was actually really really nice he was talking to me about my youtube channel and everything so yeah shout out to these guys let's get these sprayed and fit it onto the Astra. So it's time to actually spray these side skirts and see if we can get them looking somewhat near to a professional job. All I've got to do is sand down the side skirt, prime it, and then it's time we can get some paint laid. And here is how they look. Okay, basically the side skirts are on, but not properly fitted, if that makes sense. Just so I can show you in this video what they actually look like. But what we're gonna do is me and my dad are gonna fit them properly tomorrow, bond them to the car, um, because we've got to leave them 24 hours without driving the car. So I'm just going to leave the car here tomorrow night. Um, but I need to get this video up for six o'clock tomorrow, which is Sunday. But let me show you the other side, obviously what they used to look like. And then I can show you what the new ones look like. I'm, I'm pretty happy with these for 40 quid. Obviously, this is how it comes standard with just, this is literally just the chassis of the car. There's no like side skirt extension or nothing. That is how it comes as standard. And for 40 pounds, we have transformed it <laughs> to this, which I personally think looks three times as good as the other side. Just that little plastic extension, that lip. Like I say, it's literally all done by tape at the minute, just so I can show you what it looks like. But for 40 quid and a little bit of paint, time and effort, I think they look mega. Right, that is a job well done, but this video has gone on for way too long now. What I've got planned for this Astra next you are going to want to stay tuned for because I think we could turn this car into something pretty special. So stay tuned for the next video. Thank you so much for watching this one. I'll see you in a bit. Goodbye. Yeah. You wear a hat, they call dad. Me, I'm the dad in a hat. You just like clubbing and clothes. Me, I like afternoon naps. Three happy meals for the road. My oldest like counting racks. My middle one, she's in a dirt bike. My youngest is just like a mama.